Hello guys, welcome back to part 6, uh, to be honest, either this one or the next one is going to be the final one guys. All I need to do now on her is basically just, well, all we need to do on her is just put the last details on like landing gear, flaps, the gunner, and the aerial mast. And we are then officially done. I've basically just gone to the part where the main of it is just finished. Uh, and <laughs> to be totally honest guys, she is looking absolutely brilliant. Let me just bring her over and see what you think of her. Here we are. So, what do you think on that? Let me bit of light. Focus you in. What do you think of her, guys? It's much better seeing it in uh, normal form. There you go, that's a bare picture. That is it. It looks a cracking little treat. Uh, I've I really loved it. I love how the glass nose has come out. That is just a thumbs up. That is to Airfix. Uh, the saddest part about this kit when I was playing the well putting down the matte varnish, it kind of got a bit on the carry film. Well, not carry film, so I'd gone the bodywork and made it paler. And it's alright, no big deal. Uh, I could just say that it was worn during the summer of 1940. <laughs> I always have an excuse for anything I do, to be honest. But however, she's like this at the minute, and it is absolutely looking brilliant. I love, at first I when it came to the engines I thought it's gonna be a horrible horrible part of the kit now but now looking at her finished well nearly finished she looks really really good. That's nothing as well, I need to put the, the gun pods and the bomb racks on and then it'll look really nice then. Put it there a bit for you. It's just a uh, brilliant little kit that is. Brilliant, I love it. Let me zoom out a bit. No oh, wait. There you go. It's, it's what more can I say to it? I love it. I really do like it. Right, let's go away and start putting all the all the things on. Uh I think I'm going to start off with the landing gear, I think. That would be the easiest option. I'll let these batteries record. Well, gain energy, I should say, sorry. And be back to you in a second. When I finally get to the camera, at least. Okay, so I've got the one landing gear on. And once it's in, it's actually pretty steady. But, very fiddly as I found out, I broke one of these here. Uh, just glued back on. Left it to dry and it's all fixed in. Now apparently, it's good how Epic has done this. Um, this part across the bottom here, because uh, it slots in like that, while these ones fit on top. Like so it gives it a nice sturdy structure. As I demonstrate, what we do is put a glue on here, as you do, and the pegs are located on the struts. Now that's on. Very. That's it. That's that on. That's perfect. That's it. That is on now. What I just have to do is glue it in position. That is it. 
It's just fairly straightforward as that, really. I always recommend that you always glue your landing gear properly. Uh, it's actually quite essential that you do. Uh, yep, that's in line. Perfect. Look at that. Right. Uh, what next? Uh, do, 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 do. I think flaps. Okay, so get final on to the final stages. Uh, I got the flaps and landing gear on now. Uh, I still need to paint this little part. I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, wait. The wheels. Um, are pretty good. Uh, also, what I like about it, they can be like slotted into place. It's like that. There. What? Oh, and it's also it's adjustable. How it sits on the ground to make it look like it's a weighted wheel, but fortunately, it's not a weighted wheel at one bit at all. You know what I mean? So, hold on a second, hold on a second. Started squeaking again, that door handle was. But anyway, uh, so that's the tyres on. Just go on to this last little bit here. Now, do, 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 do. let's get this parched. That one straight on as well. So again, landing gear is on. It's just the tail wheel I've got to do, but that requires very detailed stuff. So, I, uh -huh. I think what I'm gonna do now is, uh. I don't know, I think I'll just do the whole lot or something like that and then when we come to the last part so I'll come back to you a bit. Right, so this little thing is the gun pod underneath. Uh, these are only fitted to the fighter versions of the Blenheim, the F version, which is called this version. Well, simplest way is to paint a gun pod, I think. Just put it in glue, paint it black, touch it with a bit of silver, you've done then, you've got your bomb. Your gun. Now, these fit underneath here, in those holes that we drilled out at the start. The build, I think, was in part one or something. It fits in like that. It looks absolutely little perfect. It's a little diddy gun pod. Touch of glue in each one. That's just fitted perfectly on. Like so. Can leave that to dry now for a couple of minutes. I think I might just put it up. Drop across down here. Like so. Mm, yeah, it looks, it looks quite good. Just push now. That looks awesome, that does look, I like it. Mm, that's really nice. I don't know if you can see that. Mm, it looks kind of good. Well, you'll see it when the final photos come on the scene. What next? Ah, mm. oh, dear, dear me. So I'll just talk about uh, this 
that sort of thing for a bit. This is the the turret, which is at the this is like this is like um, the top middle turret, so to say. And I like how everything's done this because you leave this until the last, whereas before in the old kits you just had to um, put in along with the cockpit the fuselage halves together to make it turn. Well, FX actually designed this very well that like it just sits in there and you can just turn it on any, any angle you want really but it's mainly just a model so it's not really a toy to turn it around and you know, bang 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 turn yeah it just sits in there but however it's nicely detailed because not only you've got the gunners you've got the seat uh, the detailed Lewis guns are very good and the turret you can have this um, in the upraised position or the lowered uh, casual cruising position I'll just put this in the battle hardened position position at the minute should get my English right also here we got the props beautifully moulded and detailed for props they are beautiful what can I say more uh, She's. I won't show you, I'll just show you in the next video I'm going to do after this uh, basically all I have to do now is put those turrets, uh, props uh, aerial and bombs and we are then practically good to go I'll see you in a minute ok guys, I'm not going to lie to you we have come very, very long way. Well, of my process, but also of you taking your time out to watch these videos. We have come one very, very long way. From this to this. What more can I say? She is now 100% finished. And I love it. She is absolutely beautiful. Let me zoom you in a bit more. Oh, that is as far as I can go, guys. Sorry. Okay, well, take off the stand. Let me try and get better in here. There you go. Look at that. I'm absolutely stunned by the detail on this kit. It is just absolutely brilliant in every single level. Just again that cup bit there. That's better. It's, I just I just don't know what to say guys. It's beautiful. She is beautiful, everything is just... Oh man, I don't know what to say. This is my first Blenheim kit and... It looks brilliant. I love it so much. Will I build another one? Yes, I definitely would. <laughs> this is generally worth the money, really. But I would have preferred it in a bigger scale. But however, uh, it's the Classic Airframes kit, the 148 version is a bit dear, about £45 for it and not be funny why I ain't paying that much so there you go she's completely finished now the only problem I didn't like about this is the shading along the side here it's kind of like, because of the matte varnish it went a bit bad as you can tell just down the panels there, that's what happened on there. But apart from that, that is the only thing wrong with this kit. Bombs and leaf. They're all done. Flaps. All out. Gunner seat. Perfect. I just need to let the tailwheel dry off for now. Turn it around a bit more for you. Oh. 
I'll take you a bit closer to Gunner's turret. I won't do it. There you go. Look at that. It's absolutely perfect. Well, even better if that canopy would move I open, but yeah, again, it's part of the design. So, yeah. Uh, well, I'll point out this is completely out of the box. Uh, the only things I've added to it is seat belts made from tape and a gun sight made from a bit of sp stretch sprue. Show you underneath now. So inside, that's we have filled that hole in there. It's not a big deal. Show underneath here. We've got the Mercury engines, all the landing gear there. You've got your gun pods, more landing gear, and that is beautiful detail. That engine. Again, bombs down here. Again, perfect. Everything about this is just perfect. I love it. There you go, guys. It is all completely finished. I love it. What more can I say? Please comment about this. See what your reaction is. If anyone is buying or thinking of buying this kit, get it. It is absolutely worth it. It is my first proper British bomber. My first bomber was a Lancaster and that went absolute crap because I was only like 12 years old at the time and first got into modelling and it just broke up. Crap. So this is my first British bomber. I am absolutely over the moon. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I will be back to you very, very soon. And I'll upload another um, a video of the photos I've taken of this. It's now late at night and I'm pretty tired, so I'm going to call it a day. Let us dry overnight and see what happens then. Uh, thank you again and I'll do some more videos in the future I want to thank everyone who's followed these videos and taking your time out to watch them a uh, big thank you to my holo hobby shop who supplied the paints and also a celebration because it's 50th wedding anniversary Thank you guys and see you all later.